Alderman from the 21st. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd like to first uh, voice my uh, uh, praise for the Alderwoman from the 5th Ward. Uh, I know she's been put in a difficult situation in, in this whole thing, and she's really uh, protected the interests of the folks of the 5th Ward. Um, I also want to praise the uh, Alderwoman from the 6th, the 19th, the 7th, and the Alderman from the 3rd for putting together a redevelopment agreement that really helps protect the interests of the, of the people in those wards. Uh, the, I did want to make a couple of statements, though. Um, you know, this thing has been reported. Uh, over and over as a uh, wholesale redevelopment of North St. Louis, which we know it's not. It's mostly dealing with just this redevelopment area, largely in the Fifth Ward. And you know, out of that respect for the older woman from the Fifth Ward, especially, uh, you know, this this thing is going to pass very easily today. Um, but I do think that there are some lessons that we should all take away from this situation. Uh, the land assemblage tax credit, which we're authorizing today, is a very powerful tool. Um, but unlike other tax credits, uh, like the historic tax credit, which actually rewards uh, creation of jobs or creation of buildings or rehabbing of buildings, the land, uh, land assemblage tax credit rewards assembling and even, in some cases, demolition of building. And so it is very important that we, are, well, we do our due diligence here in, in making sure that this is done in the proper way. And again, I want to congratulate those aldermen and uh, all the women and all the men who are sponsoring this bill that they've done as much as they can to make sure that it's going to be done proper and have put in some guidelines so that the developer does have to come back uh, at different points and we can keep an eye on what's going on. Um, but aside from Mr. McKee, there are other uh, entities out right now purchasing large amounts of land in North St. Louis, most notably a, a company called Urban Assets LLC, which McKee testified in front of the a HUD's committee, which is not him. So we still need to find out who this company is, but they're purchasing on a grand scale, uh, pr probably in hopes of getting this land assemblage tax credit. So we need to be very diligent and know that uh, Mr. McKee has successfully now uh, gained redevelopment rights for 1,500 acres, having spent just $50 million, which about half of that he's about to be reimbursed for. There's still $75 million on the table with this land assemblage tax credit that has to be spent within the next four years, has to be applied for within the next four years. So there's a lot of buying that's going to be happening. And what we have to do in our wards, in the 21st ward where the urban, urban assets is purchasing, uh, and in some other north side wards where they are purchasing, is stay very diligent so that we aren't put in a weak negotiating position when these owners of these companies do reveal themselves and do come to, them, come to us and our public with the plan that they put together in private uh, we want to make sure that we're doing it in a way that is open, that involves the community, and that involves us knowing best what's best for our communities. So, uh, you know, again, I just want to make, make sure we're very diligent on, on that. Um, and again, um, the aldermen from the 5th, the 19th, the 6th, the 7th, and aldermen from the, from the 3rd um, really need to be applauded because the, uh, the developer in this situation wanted a lot more than he got this time around. He wanted, I'm sure, some eminent domain power, which is not included in this thing. And so the people of those wards need to feel very protected by that. Uh, he wanted, this time around, I'm sure, for the city to back his TIFs, uh, his TIF bonds, uh, which is not included in this thing. Now, it may come back next year, and we need to be mindful of that, considering, especially considering the financial circumstances of the city of St. Louis right now and what that might mean to the rest of our wards if we are to gamble future city services for one project. So we need to be mindful of that if that comes back next year. Um, so with that, you know, I, um, I won't be voting for this, but it won't be because it will not be because of uh, because of the work done by these aldermen, but it will be because I think we do need to send a message to those developers who are buying right now in in my ward and other wards, uh, trying to get the land assemblage tax credit. That this way that it was done is not necessarily the proper way that it should be done. That this way that it was done is not the way that. Uh, and really breeds trust in the community, uh, that this way that it was done um, damages, in fact, these neighborhoods in the short run. And even now, we don't have a clear picture of just how long the short run is going to be. It may very, well, may very well be that in the long run, this is a great project, and, and it creates the jobs that are promised, creates the development that has been promised. But what we do know that in the short run, doing it the way it has been done for the last five years damages these communities. And so I can't vote for it right now because I don't want that to be done uh, with these new companies purchasing. I want to send a, message, a clear message to them that uh, the way it has been done is not the way it will be done, at least in the 21st Ward. So thank you. All right, thank you. Any further discussion?